Greetings, Cosmos, and welcome to my version of the Choco Latte Contest for 2022. Today, we're going to Hot Chomp Desert and the Chomp Pyramid. Alright, hold on. I gotta sneeze. Okay, sorry about that. There was a loading screen that loaded. Anyway, we're back. Hey, Toad, what is up? Careful not to fly too high with the Super Leaf or you'll get burnt like Icarus. Oh, that's interesting. I like that gimmick. Well, I like the concept. We'll see how the execution goes. I mean, since you were outright told about it and given the super leaf, I had assumed that it was designed, the level's designed with that in mind. This flag is a checkpoint. Watch out for piranha plants high in the quicksand. Okay. What if I do this instead? Oh, hey. Well, if I destroy all these piranha plants, I think I'll have enough space to, uh, fly like Daedalus. We. Oh my. Hop. Oops, sorry about that. I was scratching my face. Well, I messed that up. So yeah, this level gets kind of spammy. Not as spammy as mine. Not yet, at least. Oh, I barely managed to evade that one. Ha! Okay. Fire breathing. Uh. Oh no! Whoops. Okay. Ha! Ah. Fire breathing nippers. Whoop. Okay, so. Okay. Panic spinning to deal with the enemies. You know, fire might be more useful than a leaf here. Another checkpoint. Hey you. Flame chomp territory is ahead. Also watch out for the chain chomps that broke loose. Okay. Like that. So that is a flame chomp. The loose chain chomps show up with very little warning. What the? And so it's hard to react to the chain chomps because they show up with very little warning. So I've been playing the new Pokemon game and I'm not sure what to make of the uh, terrestrialization mechanic. I think that's what it's called. I mean, it feels more limited than it should be in a supposedly open world game like th well it feels right now like an open world game so i'll just leave it at that but like a mechanic that requires you to go back to a pokemon center every time you use it okay so The flame chomps are much easier to predict than the, uh... Oh, interesting door. Oh, that fire was real. Now, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, the new Pokemon game. I'm enjoying the new Pokemon. Oh. Weird. I was expecting that to be a secret door. Anywho... I'm liking the new Pokemon that I've encountered so far. 
Even though one of them is literally an electric mouse. I didn't expect those fires to be real. I cannot go into... I died in the exact same place in the exact same way. Now, what's upsetting about that is... As far as I can tell, there's no power-ups in here? Oh, that's not a power-up. Okay. That's not a real block. That block will kill me. I like the aesthetics of those Goombas looking kind of like uh, these vases and having spots where they would go. If they were va Oh, hey! Boss time? Oh no! I'm glad that I got a few seconds of warning to get out of the way. Okay, so... Whoa! <sighs> this section would be so much more bearable if there were at least one power-up in it. So that if I make a mistake, I can take at least one hit. Is there a secret power-up around here somewhere? Anyway, what was I Oh yeah, the new Pokemon game. Really enjoying the sense of like, you got three things going on, three plots going on, and you can hypothetically approach them in any order that you want, subject of course to your ability to keep pace with the levels of these things. Ugh. Now, well, as I play, we'll see if the execution bears out, but that is pretty much what I said I wanted out of a Pokemon game. And one of the great things about an open world Pokemon game is that the new Pokemon, the new enemies that you encounter as you play, is a ro I expected that to continue going left rather than chasing it to the right. One of the, like, the new Pokemon you encounter is a reward for exploration. Alright, okay, that thing itself won't hurt me. Ah! See, I failed to predict when they would shoot fire at me and was like, oh yeah, I could just tag them both at once. And I was already committed when they hit me. Had I had a power up, I would have survived that. Heck, had I had a power up the first time I made it that far, I would have been able to uh, tank the sudden red chomp. Okay, so. There. Now, get over here. Bonk. I acted too soon and nearly got myself killed. Okay. So, then. Nah! Ah! I had thought I was going to jump high enough to bounce off of that dry bones. Instead I hit its face. Yeah, I feel like this level might have done significantly better if there was a power up in this segment. Oh, 
Oh, I need to burn myself on a candle. Also, I feel like those candle flames are poorly indicated as uh, things that can cause damage. Okay, bounce, okay, and now I no longer need to, how do I get up here though? Am I expected to run from over here? Hop, okay, I did make, so close, so close to getting to that next door. Oh, right. Candle flame hurts. Uh, this reminds me of that one level I played some time ago where cacti would injure you if you touched them, but I kept reading those background objects. Okay. Right, right. I was trying to hurry things along and forgot that that is the exact timing with which they spit fire upon me. Alright, hold on a second. Oh, I... I've never allowed that chomp to be on screen long enough for it to do that. Okay, wait for that to spit fire, and then just go past it. Okay, bounce, bounce, bounce. Okay, get up. Woo! Amazed I managed to do that that time. I thought for sure I was going to hit it in the face. Okay, bounce. What? Okay. Oh, right. I gotta watch out for them little flaming enemies because they can get me above or below. Oh, is that an actual power-up? An honest-to-goodness actual power-up? It's a miracle! And another checkpoint. You give me a boss chamber with boss music and I grow to expect that the level is almost over at that point. Oh. Great attentiveness there. Okay. Oh, right. That's not gonna stop it. Oh no! Really? Wonderful! Alright, and this- oh wait, this section does contain a power-up. That makes this section infinitely better than the previous indoor section. Okay, so... Woo! Ah! I didn't expect to land on that Goomba, so I wasn't holding the jump button. Instead, I had let go of it in preparation to jump again. Okay.
Ah. Okay, I nearly got myself killed there, but I didn't die. Ah! Okay. Okay. Well, a lot of this level is hurry up and wait style stuff. Get over here so I can wait for that flame to get out of the way, and then hurry up and get through here. Wait for that flame to get out of the way. Get through here before the chomp gets back. Ah. Thought I was gonna make it. Oh, right. Oh, what? Those can... Those can spit fire at you while you're immobilized and waiting for everything to load. Oh, that's wonderful. Why not wait for those to load in? As you can tell, I'm getting impatient and frustrated with this level. I can see why it's so near the bottom. Okay, so... Nope, nope, nope. Okay, let's try that again. Okay. Once more I have failed to make it into here with health. Ah! This shouldn't be that hard. I just need to kill a bunch of Goombas with some fire in between. But it feels a lot higher stakes than it is because of the issue I have where I get hit and that and that causes me to react worse to everything that follows. Okay. Now I want to make sure I'm in the air. Ah! Didn't have time to react. Ah! I misaimed because I thought I was going to get the Goomba. Okay. Wait for that to disappear. Nope. No. Ah. Oh. I failed to commit to my jump. Okay. Okay, so... Get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. No, 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 no. Oh. Oh, no. 
Okay, so hit this. I have a brief moment to crush this. Get down here. And I need to solve exactly the same puzzle as before. Okay. Okay, remember, fire hot. Even on things that appear to be background objects. Alright, wait for that skeleton to go away so I have enough room to get up here. Okay. Checkpoint again. Doesn't matter which door I take. Uh-oh. Oh no! Oh no! Why would you do this to me? Ah! Oh, there's the exit. Okay. Okay. A lot of good concepts in there. Execution could be improved by quite a bit, though. Alright, next time going to whatever this level is. I'll see you then.